right? That's two packs of our uh, shrimp. It's uh, raw, peeled, and deveined with the tails off. Now I'm coming in with my plastic crab legs. I'm gonna cut this open and I'm gonna get these legs all out in here. Oop. Oops. Okay. Just gonna cut these in the smaller pieces. I'm using my clean kitchen shears. coming in with my garlic and I've got a good amount of seafood here so I'm going to use a good amount of garlic onto all of this. It smells great. Now I'm coming in with my diced red onion. This is a whole onion that we diced. I'm just going to get that spread out kind of evenly with our shrimp here. I'm going to get all that flavor distributed. All right, now I've got some more of my classic crab. So this is crab flake, and it is imitation, but I like the imitation. I feel like you really can't tell the difference between the imitation and the real, unless you're really, you know, looking for it. And I've actually got two packs of this that I'm gonna be putting in here. There we go, perfect. Yeah, and this is more cost efficient. You're making a big dish like this, it's gonna feed a good amount of people. And so I like the imitation crab. All right, now I got my mozzarella pearls. Just gotta get this open. Ugh, got a little of that juice on my hand. Crab juice. Those are trusty scissors. Yeah, okay. Great. We'll just get this all open out of here. That is a mozzarella ball, but then it breaks up into these smaller pearls. And this is gonna give us a nice cheesy bites and creaminess throughout our dish. All right. Okay, now I've got my Barilla spaghetti pasta. I'm just gonna get this dumped out in my hand here. And we're gonna just do this fun trick with our pasta here. Just move these guys. This might be a little bit much. And I'm gonna do like this much. And you can twist this and just break your pasta up just like that. I'm gonna grab the rest of my spaghettis. Just break all these up. Okay. Now what we're gonna want to do is just kind of mix, mix this all around. We don't want all the seafood to be at the bottom. We want the seafood to be throughout the pasta. So I'm just gonna kind of get this. Oh, that looks good. All incorporated. Now I've got my ragu creamy Alfredo sauce. Oh, there we go, I got it. I'm just gonna dump this. All on top here. I've got a second jar. That'll help. Oh, that one came easy. dumping this all on top of my seafood. Actually, I think we're gonna use one more jar. There we go. Because we want this to be extra creamy. This is a decadent dish that we're making for friends and family coming over. This is a great Sunday night dinner treat. And now I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna put some water right into my Alfredo jar just like this. This is a great trick. You always gotta do this with your sauces. And then I'm putting the lid on. I'm gonna just shake that all around. And now I'm just gonna 
just dump this water in there. We're gonna need all of that moisture to get our pasta cooked. And I'm gonna take my second Alfredo jar here and I'm just gonna fill this one up as well with water. And we're just gonna do that magic Alfredo trick where you put the lid on, make sure that lid's on. You don't want this going everywhere when you shake it. I don't know why this, this lid doesn't want to go on. All right. Perfect. All right, that looks great. Now, before we go any further, I am gonna put my gloves on. Oops, I got my glove onto my hand here. All right, and we're just gonna come in here. We're gonna break up some more of this pasta. I just wanna toss this and make sure we're getting these noodles fully covered with our sauce, with this liquid, getting a good mixture of our noodles and our alfredo. All right, this is starting to look really beautiful. We've got those mozzarella pearls in there. They're just gonna bring that creaminess home. How's it looking, Marty? Looks good. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna just juice my lemon on top here. Gotta have lemon with seafood. Ooh, you gotta be strong to juice this lemon. Oh, oh. That was not the juiciest lemon, but we're gonna do the other half here. Good guy. Oh, oh wow. Oh yeah, there we go, we got it good. Oh boy, okay. You can't have seafood Alfredo without, I got some block of Parmesan cheese here. I'm gonna grate my Parmesan right on top of my shrimp and my crab and my pasta with the lemon and Alfredo. Okay, now to finish this up, I'm gonna use some Parmesan or uh, mozzarella cheese, excuse me, to make a nice crust here. It's a little stuck together, but that's no problem. We can unstick it. This was a two pound bag, but we had already used some of this, so I'm not sure how much is in here, but I'm gonna use this whole thing. Gotta break up this clump. All right, let me just spread spread, spread. And I think we're gonna have a beautiful crust just like that. All right, y'all, we're gonna cook this at 400 for 40 minutes. All righty, y'all. We ended up cooking this just a little over 40 minutes and we are ready for the big reveal. Look at that. Doesn't that just look absolutely beautiful? Ooh, I can't wait to dig into this. We got this thick layer of cheese here. Oh, wow, so thick. And then I'm just gonna grab some of these noodles. I'm gonna twist this around. We've got my seafood there. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I cannot wait. Seafood Alfredo is just one of my absolute favorite foods. And I am about to have a very special guest. Taste this. Baby. Delicious. Your favorite meal, seafood Alfredo. Don't mind if I do. It has little oh, wow. pearls in there. This looks so good. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I feel like I want a shrimp too. I don't know if I need to bite that big. Half a shrimp. Half a scramp. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm. How is it? Mm. This is so good. So good, y'all. Mm. You gotta try it. 